This is to my instinct and mind. My mind is a being all itself. It creates these ideas, situations, inferences that aren't really occurring. My mind is great. I give it that much. It can create worlds I've never seen and send me on an unexpected vacation to far away exotic places. Yet it can send me down a hole so deep that I could never foreshadow. It can perceive what is really happening or it can create its own situation and make me believe it's real. Its perception of things may not be reality, but that's what it tells me it is. I can see something and perceive it as real, but my mind would tell me otherwise. So I reassess and come to the realization of my mind's eye. It can be good and it can be bad. Instinct, however, is good. My mind may say one thing and I may believe it, lie or not, but for the most part, when my mind is lying to me, my instinct tells me to question my mind. I used to think my mind was my brain. It is the source of my thought processes, so it must be my mind. But I began to realize that yes, my brain is the source of my thought process, but my mind is the process of my thoughts. It can send me up, down, left, right, forward, backward. My instinct always guides me. It does not want a leadership role like my mind. Its purpose is based on guidance and help along the way. Why then is it easier to listen to my mind than my instinct? Why do I question that nagging feeling telling me you might want to rethink this? But I listen to that which tells me do because I say so. My mind is a powerful tool for positive and negative. My mind is a powerful tool for positive thinking. I can imagine from my mind, which creates new and wondrous ideas and thoughts. Only then does my instinct remain silent and lets me explore the wonders of my mind. Thought, true creation, true life. To my instinct and mind, show you forever coexist in harmony.